All right. Well, that's going. Uh, that's the best I can do. I'm not sure what's wrong with the internet right now. Um, let me see if I can try to fix that. Oh boy. Okay, well, anyways, while the stream is lagging to oblivion and uh, Twitch is having issues, the match still goes on. We got a very strong lead for, uh, for BSP here. Hundred and ten percent. It looks like it's going to be difficult to come back from. From but a rest read could definitely seal it out with this much rage, considering Toon Link isn't exactly the heaviest character in the game. And I'm judging from the way that Con, no, that Conway's moving. Judging from Con's way, he definitely seems to be aiming for that rest, trying to go for the uh, the, the advancing fair, the nair setups. Be a dangerous situation moving forward. You can definitely see the fear in the way that BSP is uh, moving and playing a lot safer now. Definitely doesn't want to get caught out by that. Oh, that definitely could have been it! Oh, we made a comeback here. 68%. Uh, not quite a death percent yet, but... <sighs> At least not from hits like back air or forward smash. But we're getting close. We're getting very close. Conway plays this safe. He definitely can't take this out. But right now, it's still looking like BSP is going to be the winner. Back throws. Ends up going off stage. Bad position. Gets caught off. Jumps are limited. Can't land anymore. Alright, there's the landing. That back air! Oh my god! That was an inch away from ending his life! Yo, if nothing else, Khan finds a way! Let's go! However, the way was the way to the stars right now boy catching a taste of the clouds and BSP put it on his uh, big sexy belt for his big sexy pants moving on to the next match Pretty solid work on both sides. Definitely a high way to start the crew battle. Alright, I dig, I respect. Anyways, we got coming up next. We have RDR7, I believe.
All right, so see what uh, stage they have to go for. Looks like uh, BSP is going to be banning Lilat. And RDR7 is opting for Battlefield. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. Yeah, the last the last match, the stream was lagging heavily. I think it might have been an issue with, uh, with Twitch, maybe? But, no, the, the match itself, the Wi-Fi match, was going well. And I have it recorded, except for the beginning. So... I'll, uh, I'll splice it together when the, uh, when the video is released for it. Anyways. Getting started with a match. We got RDR7 already with the aggressive approach. Definitely aiming for... Well, I mean, so far it's looking like he's going for... Significant more pressure than Conway was. So far, um, BSP is making some pretty good use of these platforms. However, this edge guard situation, and that is death. Was that that RCO airspeed working out right there? Because he had no drift at all. If he had air dodge, he might have, he would have been able to make it back to the stage, but not doing so, it's definitely going to cost him his life. And RDR7 moves on without losing a single stock. Anyways, yeah, I, I know RDR is actually, RDR7 is the only name here that I actually recognize. Wait, my mic's too loud? No, my mic is not too loud. If you guys are hearing my mic uh, be a little too loud, please let me know. Right now, it seems like it's fine. Alright, looks like we got Dusty coming in next.
All right, either way, I'll have to uh, lower the mic a little bit. See if it's any better when I get high. And ready to go. All right, so RDR7 loading up high right from the start. Definitely looking like he's aiming to use his mobility to weave through this projectile wall and doing so pretty effectively. Ooh, okay. I'm liking the landing, the landing pound. Trying to catch out the shield, make it skittle size. Uh oh. Quick battle for center stage. Oh wow, Pierce is using a projectile with a dash attack, gets a nice little hit off. That double nair though, doing some real good damage. Barely gets clipped by the boomerang, finding ways in. This uh, jump in air dodge proving somewhat effective, but not effective enough. Drop shield a little bit too early. Oh my god, the charge up smash! Ba barely managed to air drive out of it. Here's the edge guard situation. Tries to drop down with the Nair, but we got a stock loss. That stage spike. Damn. Okay, so Dusty doing some pretty good work so far. Gets that opportunity real nice. RDR7 dropping the chance to take that stock. We got another edge guard situation, and we'll see if he's able to make it back. Oh, I mean, Dusty made it back. Holding on to the stage, trumps the ledge, tries to go for the back air, but misses the chance. Oof. Oof. Alright. Great hits. 35%. Not too bad. Drops the bomb casually, but completely ignores it. Hundred and thirty-eight percent, one good read off stage is gonna be the stock. But another stage spike, this one not hitting nearly as hard. Dash attack seals out the stock. We got uh relatively tie game right now, 45% ain't much. Ooh, landing up air to up tilt? I like. Almost got a nice follow-up too if it wasn't for the bomb. However, we're taking a lot of stray hits. The bomb to fair, not gonna kill from center stage, but getting real close. That relatively close game now turning into a massive lead. Almost sealing at the stock, but Jigglypuff floatiness coming in handy there. Bomb not connecting at this percentage. Do the dash attack, soft tower spot, up air, not gonna kill, but getting very close. Oh, that's the bomb. That's something that uh, that a lot of people tend to fall for. Um, when they end up trying to run towards someone, either running towards them with a shield. Wow, teleported to the blast zone from that back throw. But the initial dash, you cannot shield during the, the startup of that. You can only shield when you transition into a run. And RDR7 is getting hit a lot for that. Dealing with uh, projectiles on Wi-Fi, you need to be especially aware of that. But I mean, Jigglypuff's walk isn't very good either, so what can you do about it, right? Anyways, a lot of stray hits being taken right now. Runs into the shield, perfect shields. There's an Azure opportunity, but gets play getting clipped by the boomerang. Yo, the patience from Dusty here. Fantastic. I'm loving this man's spacing. He 
these repeated boomerangs in the air trying to protect the air, getting the stray hits when they come, but mostly trying to deny the air to RDR7. And this is working very well, considering RDR is constantly trying to break through doing so, but he's not finding the opportunity to do so. Right there, an air dodge read back air might have sealed out the stock. I'm not entirely sure of the power behind that move, but potentially could have done so. Just the tip of the up smash and the disrespect from Dusty. Ah, good stuff, man. Only two stocks taken from RD no on uh RDR7 side. Anyway, so far, this isn't impossible to make it back from, but it's going to be a little tricky. The next Jigglypuff is able to deal with uh, Dusty's patient play. We might be able to get something going. Oh, shoot. Uh, we might need to reset this stuff. Looking like RDR is AFK. Here, let's uh, let's remake the room real quick. Alright, now that that's taken care of, we can move on to the next match. So we got Pudding coming in next. Japanese Jigglypuff names. Oh boy. If I remember correctly, uh, Dusty Band Lilat. I, th I guess they already picked the stage. I didn't get to see it. But we'll see what happens. All right, back to Battlefield. All right, ready to go. Alright, um, putting doing some pretty decent work, getting some good shots in. 
uh, managing to weave around the boomerang, but these stray hits from trying to break through the platform, going through that predictable path and getting juggled. Okay, I like this close range pressure with that out of shield option. Not able to get too much out of it though. Taking more stray hits than he's able to deal out right here, 35 to 75. Dusty was uh, you know, keeping on with the as a play. If that was a side B out of shield, that would have probably broken the shield. That shield was looking pretty small already. I like the attempt. Air dodge, grab bomb, tries to throw it, gets hit. But 98% to 48% on Battlefield of all stages. This is not looking good for the Jigglypuff right now. Ooh. That was an opportunity right there. That was landing air dodge. Could have like ran up and forward smash or something. Anyways, doing some pretty good job holding on to center stage here. Getting continues to get into straight hits. Now that Dusty's no longer playing as patient as he was before, he gets hit with that up smash. Not gonna kill quite yet. If that was a forward smash, that would have been probably not the stock, but that would have been real close. But he needs to keep doing what he was doing before, because right now it's not working out too well. Stay on ground, play patient, shield, and just aim to avoid the grab. Everything else, you're fine. Because if you're able to push into the ledge, that's the options that are limited, and the side Bs that are coming up into the air don't do anything to you, just block your approach. Anyways, that is going to take out the stock. And right now getting hit with a lot of attacks when trying to advance. Not looking too good. Okay. Nice, nice. Here's an edge guard. But ends up getting clipped by the last hit of the sword. Up smash finally does heal out the stock. Dusty once again holding up the center stage, holding up this bomb, blocking off these attacks. It's every single time, Beauty is just constantly getting hit. Out of shield, or trying to break through, or trying to nair, it's just get trading with the bomb. You don't want to trade with the bomb. Trading with the bomb means you lose to the bomb. Anyways, being pressured off of the ledge. Putin definitely needs to do what uh, what he can to regain the stage control here. Right now being forced at the ledge, he's giving Dusty full control of the stage. 26% to... whoa, to 98% now. Okay, barely connecting with that side B. Gets a decent chunk of damage in. That approach patiently. Gets caught with a back throw. Does not seal out the stock quite yet. However, the next one probably could. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. We managed to break through. I was ex if, if I was uh, Dusty right there, I would have charged the forward smash. Anyways, getting plenty of stray hits right now, finding difficulty weaving around it. Can't grab the ledge because if he grabs the ledge, he's forced to air dodge, so ends up landing on stage instead. Dangerous position. Dusty looking like a Mario main right now, throwing out all these up smashes. And the... What? What? No! 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 <laughs> Dusty! Dusty, why? Oh my god, get some every time, the secret text, the sing them to sleep special, when, they're t when you're too far away, and then they think they can sleep on you, and then they actually sleep on you. And then you sleep on them. That's 
the way the world works. Dusty, get out of here. How are you gonna let that happen? To no. Oh my god. Alright, so. <laughs> the rest in peace. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, move on to the next match. <laughs> well, Dusty thinks about what he's just done. Great performance up until that point. Looks like we got Plutonio coming in next. Let me tell you, that's one way to make a comeback. That is definitely one way to make a comeback. Alright, looks like we're going to be going to Smashville for the next match. Plutonio joining in just a moment. Anyways, all right, there we go. There's Plutonio. We're gonna be going to uh, Smashville in just a second for Xali. But yeah, that was a hell of a comeback to make. I was uh, I was about to write off uh. I was about to write off Putin for the uh, the struggle that he was having. Thought he was gonna lose another stock before potentially taking that last stock, but that last, no, that uh, that effort put in. Oh my God, the lag here. Oh boy. Hopefully the lag doesn't affect too much, and we are ready to go. Or are we? Oh god, okay. We'll hope it works out well, but this is not looking good right now. I don't I don't know if the delay is too bad, but the choppiness definitely is a problem. Anyways, I'm pretty good stage control established right now. Hey, Pudding. Ooh. Tries to fare into rest, but ends up missing, and the complete... Oh, the jab, the wasted opportunity there. Could have gotten a little bit more charge on that forward smash, but it wouldn't have killed anyways. Just missed out on some percent. No big deal. And here's a down smash. That low angle is going to be impossible to recover from. And Putin takes a, the first stock effortlessly. Right now doing a pretty decent job of holding out the center stage. Blocks the boomerang coming in. Here's a bomb. Up tilt. Fair. Nair. Oh, what do we got? Okay, platform saving lives. We can see Plutonio is opting to play a lot more mid, uh, mid to long range now. Trying to stay in his sweet spot zone of effectiveness. While putting his... Trying to stay a little closer, but finding it difficult to break in. There's a landing there. 
Alright, nice back air out of shield. I think that was a back air. What else would it have been? Could have been an air, I guess. Dash attack. I probably could have rest could have been a rest to be honest. The B reverse up B not connecting with the last hit though, so not gonna take anything for that besides a little bit of percent. That would have been a forward smash if uh maybe if we weren't lagging. Yo, no fear. Grabs him straight out of the boomerang. We don't care about those. Keep your toys away. Back air? Not gonna take out the stock, but getting very close. Here's an edge guard opportunity. Ends up trying to smack the projectile out of the air though. And the backer this time does seal out the stock. Put it with a massive advantage here. 85% without losing a single stock. Already taking two. And the Jigglypuffs are now at the lead for the first time in the screw battle. Oh my god, I thought he SD'd Magnet Hands! Saving lives! Plutonio definitely needs to step it up a bit, because this right now is not looking good. And the landing up air does finally seal out the stock. Pressuring the, uh, the landing with the, uh, the stray hits, the, the nares, the bombs. Gets him right under him. Gets him the good. Pops the blue. That's how you do it. Anyways. Right now, Ops used the bomb to get back on ledge, but ends up getting stuffed right out. Yo, Jigglypuff's getup attack is so cool. Just does the little break dance. I respect it. Oh my god, clip-by-clip clip motion is ridiculous. And that's the nature of Wi-Fi crew battles, I suppose. Anyways. We've been doing a great job of holding out the stage control right now. A lot of advancing air dodges. Trying to break through any potential walls that he might be trying to create. Any, any minute now, these back airs are going to take stocks. That one did not kill, only because lack of rage. He was able to work out, because right now, Pudding definitely can't take the stock right now, but he can't sleep, because he's getting closer, closer to death percent himself. That bomb interrupting the... What was that, a grab? I think the grab would have missed anyways. Oh my god. Just trying to catch the landing. That right there was cheeky. I like that. Honestly, well, what I probably would have done if I wanted to be extra cheeky was jab, jab, sing. Dash attack. Does seal out the stock. Trying to drift off stage. Costs him in the DI. And Putin takes the stock. Only losing one of his own while taking three more. This is a train that he's running right now. Alright, looks like we got Chun Chun Maru coming in next to fight the booting. We got the Japanese names. We'll find each other. 
I don't know too much about Chun Chun Lin. But booting. One stock left is gonna be able to hold out. And they're off. All right. Let's see how Chun is able to do here. Ooh. Okay. Some good hits. Combos. Doing good. Doing work. I respect it. So far, these two are looking very even. Chun definitely a more aggressive Toon Link player, aiming to uh, play in that box out range and getting hit a little bit more often for it. I want to see him aim to play a little bit more mid range and making use of the range that he has with the Zare and the swords and all the projectiles. But right now, I mean, it's, it's definitely putting in a lot of pressure and getting quite a bit of reward. Quite a bit of reward. Okay, pound putting him in the air. Ooh, not connecting. Setting a little bit too high. Floaty balloon. What, what can you say? Oh god, that right there was... Ah, I mean, did he get punished too hard? Dash attack. What oh, was that, back air? I thought Dubuff would have enough time to nair there. Getting interrupted, though. This right here looking bad for Putin, not able to do t quite as much work as fighting someone who's constantly trying to box him out. You know, putting him off stage though, this is an edge guard opportunity. And catches the get up with the dash attack, not quite going to seal out the stock, but this is a dangerous situation. Ends up going off stage, missing the opportunity, but if he had stayed a little bit closer, he would have had the back air. However, he gets caught with the up smash. And Putin's reign of terror ends here. Back to a tie game. Put in doing so much work to put the uh, Jigglypuffs back in. Looks like we got RevX1 coming in next. And going right back to Smashville.
Alright, so let's see what uh, Revex brings to the table. We're getting caught out a little bit in the boxing, but not too bad right now. So far, I got a pretty good... Uh, well, it's a lead. See how it ends up going. I'm liking the back and forth of this. Both players seem to be pretty good at getting their follow-ups when they can. So, so far, just trading even amounts of hits and getting relatively even amounts of reward. This back and forth dynamic looking real interesting right now. Got some stage control right now though on Revex's side. Not able to, to keep it, but getting something started. Holding the air, gets the Nair. And the Nair again! Edgeguard opportunity waits a little bit too long to throw out the back air and ends up getting clipped out by the up B. But hey, pretty good stuff. Resets to neutral, not too bad. Yo! The cheek! This cheeky kid over here throwing out the full one hit forward smash, waits a little bit, throws out another one, just get out of here. I don't care. I don't care. It's hit right out with the bomb though. 116% RevX definitely can rev it up and take this stock pretty easily. But if he's not careful. Ah, back air, there it is. And right back to an even game. This is this is probably the fastest match we've had all day. Well, I mean, not counting the uh, the RDR seven one stock death, but uh, I mean, this right here is going pretty fast paced back and forth. I'm loving the dynamic between these two these two characters interacting like this. Falling Nair, not quite able to connect. Manages to clip him with a forward tilt. Yo, the weave! Chun doing so much work when recovering onto the stage. However, these traps on the ledge, that right there could have been the stock if he had waited a little longer. He might have been able to get a fair to fair and take the stock by the side. That back throw is definitely going to take out the stock, though. Revex now on his last stock. Chun at 85%. Definitely not too hard to come back from. That right there could have been it if he had not hesitated and just thrown out the back air. Yo, the jump from le- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jun, you absolute legend. That was beautiful. I thought he was going for a footstool, but he just straight up dared. God damn! He didn't even lose that stock!
Right now, the Jigglypuff is down to their last two members. We got Jarglapar coming in next. I love this guy's tag. This is great. Jarglapar. That's a big boy Jigglypuff right there. Alright, Chun. Doing some pretty good boxing work here. Not working out quite as well in this match. Um, Jugglerpuff. The man of myth, the legend. Hold it on pretty well right now. A lot more patient play and definitely punishing it out uh, Chun's more aggressive playstyle. Causing shields that back air. Not quite gonna seal out the stock, but getting very close. That putting him in an awful position, but manages to make it back on stage just fine. 89%, not, not too much to worry about. Just, you're about to die. Oh, he wanted it. If he had waited a little longer before going for that dare, that would have been it. Throws him up. Here's a fair. Here's a, here's a little some something else. 131% to 46%. Jun's gonna have to play a little bit more patient here, or else the Jugglerpuff is gonna step all over. That forward smash almost killing from center stage. Rage doing some hello work right now, along with uh, Jigglypuff small size, but Battlefield doing a little bit more work than that. That was reverse fair! What? Yo, he just sniped the rollout with a bomb? Yo, Chun the legend! God damn this man! Woo! Woo! Falling right out of the forward smash. Not gonna die right now. Jigglypuff does not fear death. Jigglypuff only fears. Well. I don't know what he fears. Right now, he doesn't fear anything. Yo. Better fear that. Getting sent all the way back. Let's go. Relatively even match right now. Yo, what? Did my eyes deceive me or did I just see a phantom hit? I thought I just saw the spark. Edge guard situation. Putting him in a bad position, but not able to get too much off of it. And the missed rest getting full smash. Of course. Of course. What do we got? Back air. Putting him off stage. Catch the, tries to catch the landing with the forward smash. Almost worked. Yo. I thought he was about to side B again. Maybe break the shield. Making some pretty good use of the stage control. The forward smash catching him out! And Jigglerpuff! Stand supreme.
All right, Jurgle Prof holding on a little strong here. Let's see who's next on the Tunelic side. Yo, this crew battle is going down right to the wire. Only a one stock difference between the two teams. Really good showing on both sides. Looks like we got It's Sonic coming in for the Toon Links now. Man, it's taking a sweet time joining the room, though. Yeah, I mean, this this guy's tag always throws me off. Like, he's a, he's a Toon Link player, but his tag is It's Sonic. Alright. Alright, man. Great. Great job. Jurgler. Oh, Beautiful. At least, at least with that name, you know exactly what you're getting. You see Jurgler Puff. You're gonna get the Jurgler Puff. All right. What you see is what you get. Is this man even here, though? I really want to see this match. I don't want to see him have to sub. Okay, looks like he's actually here. We'll see if he uh, ends up joining in. There we go. Should be ready any second now. Oh, well, that's not Dreamland. Let's try that again.
Let's not make this about something that's not with the Hugo Vicky jokes, please. I'm SFL. I, I really don't want to think about that stuff right now. Vicky's a close friend of mine. Let's not make this about something that's not. And ready to go. All right, so Jigglypuff already off to a strong start, getting some these nice hits in. With the ledge pressure, the bomb goes off, resets the ledge of its ability. Go, go, pineapple! Yo, the legend, Jigglypuff. Let's go. Already down, just right off the bat. Jigglypuff was like, you know what? This this match isn't tied. Let's 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 tie up the match. Let's tie up the crew battle. Let's just get that out of the way. Let's make this a fair fight, all right? And then Sonic is like, yeah, okay. So we're off <laughs> right now. Five v five crew battle. No, five stocks to five stocks in the crew battle. Not five v five. We're way past that. Jumps up. I'm loving this weave. I'm loving this movement right now. However, not working out too well is uh, It's Sonic being a little bit more patient now. Oh, 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 he just tried it, and he got it. Whoa, what? Send him up to the stratosphere. Holy, god damn! That's how. You, that is how you convert off a of goddamn rest. That's how you punish. Let's go. I saw that. I was like, there's no way that's gonna connect, and then it connected. All right, sure. You know what? You do you, it's Sonic. This boy... This boy taking cues from Sonic with the up throw to goddamn up air. Let's... Alright. Okay, bomb. Making the grab miss. But he was trying to throw the bomb, so I guess he got something. One hundred and fifteen percent. This is very easy to come back. One nice hit, one nice edge guard. It's all that Jigglypuff needs to bring it back. Back air almost connecting and doing that work. We got. Oh, it tries to roll past him and get the forward smash. Not rolling fast and far enough though. Use the Skittle Shield. Just straight from the other side of the stage. Just jump in, air dodge, pound. He knows what he wants. He's gonna get it. 149% though. Toon Link at max rage. Definitely a dangerous situation to be if your name is Jigglypuff. But his name is not Jigglypuff. It's Jigglypuff. He don't care. He don't care about no rage. He sits you down. He sends you out. Alright. Put a pineapple in your mouth. That's how we do things in this world. That said, he might need to uh, might need to take a step back because right now he's at ninety nine percent, on the verge of death. His opponent's at zero percent. Gonna need to work extra hard to bring this back. Yo, the Nero. Alright, tries to roll into the up smash, doesn't connect. But now it does! If at first it doesn't succeed, just do it again until it does. Let's go.
So the Jigglypuffs are down to their last player right now. Who's coming up? Looks like we got Agza coming in. Okay, these guys still deciding on the stage they're gonna pick. It's Sonic Banning Battlefield. How many stocks did uh, it Sonic have at the last at the end of the last fight? Just one. He lost one stock really early on, and then he got uh, he got clipped out. Looks like we're finally ready to go. So let's see what Agza brings to the table. Okay, it's caught by the bomb right off the start. Not too bad, just a four. So we pressured a little bit, holding up to the stage, trying to weave in. Not able to land a hit quite yet, but only got hit by a single bomb. Not too bad so far. Very patient looking like so far. All right, there we go. Ah, no, never mind. Looking like this is going to be a very slow match from the looks of it. I guess Ags is studying his opponent a little bit, trying to make sure that whatever hit ends up getting caught, that's going to be a hit that he's able to take stock with. We'll see how it ends up happening though. Right now it doesn't seem like Ags is doing too much to pressure his opponent at the ledge. Walks forward, shields. Very patient play right now. Not working out too well though, not able to break through this projectile wall. Alright, there we go, there we go, dash attack to dash attack, alright! Not able to get anything off of it though. 
Definitely could have converted. The boomerang combos into the bomb. It's Sonic getting some real good work out of this uh out of these stray projectiles. Not very stray, setting up for the traps in advance. And dash attack trades was fair, not a trade you wanna have. This just keeps happening. This isn't good. Oh my, that was almost death. Jigglypuff DIing in ends up uh, flying a little bit too high for the full hop fair to connect. Any minute though, I'm seeing. Uh... Oh wow, he's never right, he just gets a kill. Alright. All you need is one stock. Move on to the next one. Backer connects, almost seals out the stock, puts him in an edge guard situation, recovers. Bomb not necessary for the thing, but ends up clipping him out. Bomb almost saving life, but not quite. Agza only losing one stock. And now down to the last players on both sides. Coming in as the anchor for the Toon Link Discord, we have Iza. So we're gonna have to wait for him to come on in. He's a rather well-recognized player. Plays a bunch of characters. Plays uh, Link in particular, he's known for. But he's got a Toon Link as well. He's acting as anchor. He's doing that work. Let's see if he's able to take these two stocks. Or if Agza is able to go Super Saiyan and uh, take the three stocks before losing the two. And bring this crew battle back from how the Jigglypuffs are holding on right now. I mean, it's not too bad. It's two, two stocks of three. It's definitely very doable. Let's see how it happens. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of things that transfer over between Link and Toon Link, but more so than anything else is just Iza is a smart player with good fundamentals and a lot of practice across the board. Doing all those art of videos definitely helps in terms of building character knowledge, and you can apply that character knowledge to whatever character you want with some practice. So yeah, Iza's, uh, Iza's got the goods, and I'm assuming he's not the anchor for no reason. Well, I mean, liquid players definitely, uh, they're definitely hotter than, uh, than solid players.
gassy players, I don't know about all that. We don't want to go down that road. I was finally ready to go. We're going to town and city. Moving on. Making the good stuff happen. Here we are with potentially the last match of the crew battle. No, no, this is the last match of the crew battle. Doesn't matter how it goes, this is gonna be it. So two stocks to three. We'll see if it's gonna be Agzar or Iza holding off in the end. Right now, we're kind of staring each other off, dodging each other's attacks. A little dance of death going on here, but finally we got some action. Agzar's more patient play style is starting to come in a little bit more effectively here as he's weaving out of the range of uh, Esau's attacks, getting a nice counter hit. Esau forced off stage. He manages to bait it off stage extremely effectively, not getting caught in Jigglypuff's ledge traps at all. Back to neutral. We're seeing a lot of these projectiles trying to anti-air, but I'm noticing Agza plays a lot more grounded than all the other Jigglypuffs we've seen so far. So these anti-air shenanigans aren't going to be as effective. You can see the boomerang is now being aimed straight forward, trying to force uh, Agza off the ground instead. The charge up smash! I was expecting, like, out of shield rest right there, but not going to happen. A lot of charged up smashes coming from Ezaw here. Block, block, good patience. Good stage control. I feel like the main issue that Axa is having right now is that there's just some opportunities that he's not exploiting as hard as he could. And those exploitations can definitely turn around the pace of the match extremely well. Meanwhile, Ezaw. Not playing as passive, no, as patient as he probably should. Um, not baiting out the anti-approach options and punishing him afterwards. Instead, just aiming to try to keep Agza at a distance and constantly getting snuffed out due to having his options baited. Be careful. Grab near the ledge could be deadly on Town and City with this much rage. That backer almost killing off the top, but not quite going to do it. Aiza holding on by the skin of his teeth. Does Jigglypuff even have teeth? These are the real questions we need to ask in life. Back throw. Does take out the stock. Jigglypuff's on his last stock. Ezaw still holding onto all three, but just about to lose one. What was that? Nair almost killing off the top? Alright. Yo, the Trump back air! Agza taking that opportunity very nicely. We are back to playing in neutral. One stock lost. 
on both sides. Both players seem evenly matched, but with the one stock deficit on Ogza's side, definitely gonna have to step it up hard. You can't be even, you have to be in the lead. There's an opportunity. Oh, but misses! And that was a, all right. Charge down smash, not something we usually see. Probably trying to keep forward smash unstaled. However, this could be the stock loss. Nair taking out the stock. We are now on a one stock each situation with a minimal amount of percent on Chicklypuff's side. This is an even match. Right down to the wire. That said, 76%, definitely getting closer to death percent for Jigglypuff. So he's going to have to step it up, get that rest, or die trying. Down smash, does clip him out. Doesn't need to... Doesn't need to... Oh my god, the charge up smash! Agza throwing out his patience for just a second. It cost him the stock, and it cost the Jigs the crew battle. And that is the end right there. And with that, the Toon Links win the crew battle over the Jigglypuff players. Congratulations to the Toon Link Discord. And well played on both sides. That was a fantastic crew battle right down to the wire. Excellent showing. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed what you saw... Uh, t and you want to get involved in your own Discord crew battles, please uh, check out smashcores.com. They have the link to all the, the uh, Discord groups over there. Get involved in your own communities, and you can participate in these crew battles. If you enjoyed my commentary, please consider following the stream. I do these, uh, these events regularly, and I also do my own stuff on stream. And yeah, definitely uh, keep up on that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Thanks a lot to everyone who participated. Great jobs to all players. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.